you know, the foreign relations strategy of the Israeli government relies on the idea that all Jews agree with what they're doing. Unfortunately for them, there has never, ever been agreement in Jewish history about anything, especially not such matters as life or death and the safety of our own people. So yeah, it's, and, and, and young people, young Jews, just like young people all around the country, we are watching live on our phones right now, the live stream of atrocities straight from the Gaza Strip, from people who look like us, who think like us, who just want to be safe and free and to pursue their dreams like we do. And the film actually tells the story of young Jews like me and thousands around the country who have had that awakening, who have dared to face the Palestinian reality and, and are outraged and heartbroken that any of this injustice could be happening in the name of our safety. Yeah, well, there's obviously a vicious debate, a passionate debate uh, within our community about all of these matters. I, I can say, you know, the people in my community, we're seeing these images and we're seeing the, the echoes of the trauma, the violence that Jewish people have experienced in the past that we have been taught all of our lives to, to be outraged by, to stand against. And, and the idea that any trauma that our people have experienced could be justifying this, it's, it's so outrageous and disgusting. And I, I have to say, you know, if we're talking about just this period of the last two months has been a time of incredible grief and heartbreak and, and fear. And if there's anything that I've learned in the last two months, it's that massacring anybody in the name of safety for another people is it's it doesn't work yeah i think i would just say that you know most american jews let alone most americans have never met a palestinian person in their life and you know when i met palestinians on campus uh, i learned that for them the reality of their life under israeli rule was one of oppression and occupation and and displacement and that fundamentally shifted my politics. And that's why young Jews are so much closer in our politics to people like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib and Jamal Bowman than we are to President Biden and Chuck Schumer, because we refuse to put a hierarchy on human life. We refuse to ignore Palestinians, to dehumanize them, and to keep them outside of the conversation. And once you do that, it fundamentally shifts everything.